Brienne here from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part four of the Mandala Crochet Blanket. Last week we ended here with these V stitches and these popcorns in the corner and you should have 236 stitches from the last round or 59 single crochet on each side and if you don't um, that should be okay we should be able to make up for it even if you missed a stitch or two here we should be able to make up for it um, in this next section so in this part what we're going to be doing is we are going to again change the direction of our square and we're going to be adding triangle pieces on each side this week we're just going to do two sides and then in um, part five we're going to do the other two sides and link down below again I will have the video for part three linked below as well as the written pattern for part four and that'll have all your stitch counts for each row you'll definitely want to check out the written pattern because this will have um, the pattern repeat will continually decrease and I won't have every single row in the video because that would kind of be a little bit redundant um, so you'll definitely want to check out the written pattern for that pat decrease repeat that you're going to be doing to make this triangle portion and we're going to be using front post double crochets and single crochets and back post double crochet as well. So we're going to start in one of these corner chain two spaces. So here's my last round which was single crochet, chain two, popcorn in the corner, and chain two. So I'm going to join here in this chain two space. And these sections will be color controlled. I can find my yarn there it is um, they will be color controlled so what I'm gonna do is basically I'll do this one side this one triangle and see what colors I end up using for this triangle and then in the next ones I'll make sure to match them up so I'm just gonna go ahead and do one and see what colors I end up with and then I'll make sure that the other ones kind of match so I will chain two and this chain two does not count as a stitch and I'm going to double crochet two together so that means I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into this same space yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two I'm going to leave those two loops on the hook now I'm going to go into the next single crochet where I will yarn over and insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now I have three loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three and there you can see we're turning our two double crochets into one that's our double crochet two together then I'm going to double crochet in the next 57 stitches that should take us all the way across stopping right before the last single crochet of this side so all the way to the last single crochet on this side and that should give you, you should have 57 stitches here I have double crocheted 57 stitches all the way across to my very last single crochet on this side where I'm going to again do a double crochet two together so I yarn over and insert my hook into that single crochet and yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two I have two loops on my hook and I'm going to leave those there yarn over insert my hook into this chain two space yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two there's my second double crochet and then yarn over and pull through all three loops um, in row one you have 59 double crochet because you have your 57 double crochets and two of these double crochet two together which each counts as one so you have 57 and then one on this end and one on the other end for a total of 59 double crochet on this side if you don't for some reason have 59 maybe you're one short or one too many um, you can just work another one into this chain space or double crochet two together another time or go back and fix the round before which personally I wouldn't do but <laughs> whatever you need to do to get those 59 double crochet for this side so now we're going to be working in turned rows I'm going to chain one and turn 
and I'm going to start with a single crochet three together. So it's kind of like those double crochet two togethers um, where you're decreasing, you're turning multiple stitches into one. We're going to do single crochet three together. So I'm going to insert my hook into this very first stitch, which was my double crochet two together from the last row, and pull up a loop. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook and then I'm going to insert my hook into the next one, the third one, and pull up a loop and now I have four loops on my hook and I will pull through all four. And in the next stitch I'm going to do a double uh, back post double crochet. So I make sure I'm not working into these, I already worked to this stitch, this stitch, and this one is my first three, one, two, three for my single crochet three together. Here's my next one. I'm going to do a back post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to come from the uh, uh, underside of my work and I'm going to, going to put my hook across the entire post, pushing it out towards the other side. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and work my double crochet. So it's pushing this stitch out towards this side, which is the right side of our work. Now I will single crochet in the next. And back post double crochet in the next, right here. So yarn over, hook from the other side coming towards you, and then push it out the other side around that entire post of the stitch. And then work your double crochet. Now single crochet in the next. And repeat that all the way across to the last three. So again, back post double crochet, putting my hook around this entire post coming towards you, around the post and then back through the work, double crochet, single crochet in the next. So single crochet, back post double crochet, all the way across to the last three stitches where we will again be doing another single crochet three together. Here are the last three stitches of this row. I ended with a back post double crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet three together in the last three stitches. So I'll insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and I have three loops on my hook. And insert my hook into the very next stitch and pull up a loop. Now I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four. So you should have a total of 55 stitches on this side. So now for the next row we will chain one and turn. And now we're just going to be working single crochet two togethers on each end for the remainder of this triangle. So I'm going to insert my hook into the very first stitch which is from that single crochet three together and pull up a loop and then insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and there's three loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. Now my next stitch is a single crochet. I'm going to single crochet in the single crochet. And here is the back post double crochet from the previous row. I'm going to front post double crochet here. So I'll yarn over and insert my hook an, around the entire post, yarn over and pull up a loop, and work the double crochet. And then single crochet in the single crochet. And then front post double crochet in the next. And single crochet in the single crochet. And now we're going to repeat that all the way across where you alternate the front post double crochet and single crochet. So we want to continue in the working our post stitches in the post stitches from the previous row. So again, front post around the back post from the previous row. And then single crochet in the single crochet. Repeat that all the way across to the last 
two stitches of the row. Here I've repeated that all the way across my row to the last two stitches. So in the next stitch I will insert, I'm going to do a single crochet two together over the last two stitches of the row. Where I'll insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then insert my hook into the last stitch and pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. And you'll have 53 stitches for this row. So now from here on we're going to be working those single crochet two togethers on each side. So each row will decrease by two stitches. So for row four, I will chain one and turn. And now we're going to be doing those back post double crochets. I'm going to start with my single crochet two together. So I'll insert my hook into the very first stitch and pull up a loop. And then insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three. And I'm going to back post double crochet around the post stitch from the previous row. So I'll yarn over, push my hook in towards me, and you're going to go around the entire post, pushing it out towards the other side of my work, and work a double crochet. And then single crochet in the single crochet. Back post double crochet around the next. and single crochet in the single crochet. Back post double crochet around this post stitch. And single crochet in the single crochet. And we'll repeat that all the way across to the last two stitches of the row. And here are the last two stitches of my row. I ended that repeat with a back post double crochet. So I'm going to work a sub single crochet two together over the last two stitches. And this row will have 51 stitches. So you will repeat rows three and four all the way to row 26. So each row will start with those single crochet two togethers and you're going to be working the single crochet in the single crochets and the post stitches in the post stitches for each row. Um, so you want to continue this post stitch pattern all the way as you decrease. Each row will decrease by two as we create that triangle. Um, so you'll repeat that all the way to row 26. And again, I have the written pattern linked below. So it has the instructions written out for you so you can repeat rows three and four, now all the way to row 26. Here I have repeated those two rows all the way to row 26. And it can be tricky to count rows with these front post stitches. I like to count um, in between, I count the single crochets to count my rows as you go up counting. Because sometimes counting these front post stitches can be a little bit tricky. So I try and look at the um, single crochets when I count. So I repeated all the way to row 26 and I have seven stitches here in row 26. So we're going to finish decreasing and finish off, finish off the um, tip of our triangle. So row 26 was one of those rows with the back, back post um, double crochets. So for my next row, row 27, I will chain one and turn. And I will single crochet two together. single crochet in the next, and then here's a front post double crochet, single crochet in the next single crochet, and then single crochet two together, the last two stitches, now for row 28, chain one and turn, 
and single crochet two together. Then back post double crochet on this pro post stitch. And then I'm left with two stitches, so I will single crochet two together on the last two. Now for my last row, row 29, chain one, turn, and I will single crochet three together across these three stitches. So insert in the first stitch, pull up a loop, the next stitch, and my last one, and I have four loops on my hook, and I'll yarn over and pull through all four. And then I'm going to cut my yarn and pull that all the way through. So here we have one side finished, that triangle. Um, you should end with kind of this center post going all the way up to the top of the triangle. And you can see here um, the colors that worked out for me. I kind of changed colors mid-row is how it worked out for me. So now I'm going to make sure when I do the other three sections, I'm going to make sure that I have the same color flow because I started kind of at the very beginning of this color. So I'm going to pull up another skein, make sure I'm starting at the very beginning of this color, and it should kind of work out, probably not exactly, but it should be pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue matching the pattern, the colors, as much as I can for the other three sections. So now what you will do is you will turn your square and you will join at that chain two corner and you will repeat this pattern on one more side for a total of two for part four and then for week five um, you will do the other two. So there won't be an, an, another video for part five because it's still this same pattern. So this week do this section and one more and then the following week do the last two sides repeating this. And I also want you to notice how it started to flatten out on this side after we added this section. So it will start to flatten out this waviness that may have been happening from our first three parts. It will start to flatten out a little bit as we make these triangles. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again in part six.